Since entering the NFL as a first-round pick out of Alabama in the 2020 NFL Draft, Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tagovailoa has had his arm strength picked apart and questioned every step of the way. This offseason, that narrative had hit a peak with fans stirring into a frenzy after a clip of Tagovailoa at OTAs went viral on social media. That led to wide receiver Tyree Kill defending his quarterback with his own video and eventual comments on his new podcast, while everyone is talking about it. Former New England Patriots director of player personnel Scott Pioli doesn't believe Tagovailoa's arm is a problem. In fact, he compared it to the arm of one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Tua's arm strength will be just fine, Pioli said in a conversation with the Miami Herald's Barry Jackson. First five years of Tom Brady's career, critics said over and over that he can't throw the deep ball. It's all dink and dunk. Brady was deadly accurate. He was being told to make high percentage throws. Because that's what he could do best at that time. As he got older, he got stronger, obviously, like Hill wasn't saying Tagovailoa's arm is better than Patrick Mahomes, Pioli isn't saying it's like Brady's. He's just showing that accuracy is a key part of a young quarterback's game, especially when that's what they're being allowed slash asked to do, arm strength isn't something that has to be there right away. Right now, Tagovailoa is a very accurate quarterback, and that could still be enough to lead to a successful season. Miami Dolphins' Noah Igbinagin could break out of his funk. Several Miami Dolphins defensive players have praised Noah Igbinagin for his work during the offseason and practice, but it's time to move forward. Noah Igbinagin was drafted late in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft and for two seasons, Dolphins fans have wondered why nothing is clicking for the defensive back. If not inactive on Sunday, Igbinagin has rarely made an impact even on special teams, it is something that he is trying to rectify and maybe this year becomes that season. It has to be or he won't likely make it through or to his fourth season, Miami's thin secondary bodes well for Igbinagin to make the team this year. His draft position helps him as well. What doesn't help him is the fact that he has not performed up to NFL standards, to be fair, Igbinagin is still working on his transition from wide receiver that he played in college before switching his final collegiate season. Igbinagin has been surpassed by undrafted free agent Nick Needham and now needs to become the slot corner that Miami needs or a linebacker hybrid that can play against the run. His time is running out but there is a chance that this year, he could break out of that funk and show the talent that he has, the talent that Miami saw when they studied game film, he shouldn't have far to go. This will be the third season in this system and he should be ready to roll when camp starts next month.